Have a nice beer. These things, there's no telling. Not sure if we're supposed to be in here or not, but the door was open. I mean, this is like permanent Burning Man. It's so cool. Welcome to Copenhagen. Now this city is kind of big and I've had a intense work week. So I have not had any time to plan or prepare. So we're just gonna go wander the streets, see what we see and explore. So as one of the oldest empires in the world, Denmark has some really cool and iconic architecture that I'm sure you've seen in other places like Scandinavia. What we will not be seeing today though, is a stock exchange because the dragon pillars did not save it from fire as they were supposed to. Okay, you guys, I think we're going on an architecture tour. Look at this very cool building here. There's a 1616 and there's 1898. I quite like this. So it's like a multiple choice question. Which year was this building built? 1898. No one will know. 1515. Dun dun. But in front of us, I see a puerta that's abierto, and I think we should go explore. But walk this way. Okay, check out this bell. Look at this. Okay, so to ring this bell up here, you pull this channel. Ding, 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 ding. You guys, you saw something you shouldn't have seen. So the puerto was abierto, but it wasn't meant for me to entree. So, the door is now closed. Well, this is pretty. Right next to Martha. But that bell was really cool. So you like pull the bottom part and it deacons this very tall, high area. So we're gonna start our tour of the castle at the original castle. So where we're at, there's like four different castles that were built here all in the same place. So it's a pretty good spot to build a castle. This that we see here was the old baking place. Like for whatever reason, now people have tossed some coins into it. But down here, we see all sorts of old stuff. Let's explore more. Okay, so the first castle here was built like in the 11, 1200. And this is how they think that may have been. So they're not really sure how many towers it may have had, but you can kind of see now where the very first castles here was built by a bishop. And he was super into obviously religion, but then also politics. And like he even fought in one of the crusades where they killed people who didn't want to do Christianity. So I find it interesting that architecture and religion This here, we see the oldest part of the ruins. This is part of where the bishop built his castle. Isn't that cool? Guys, we're underneath the castle, looking at something that a dude from like over a thousand years built. That's pretty awesome. And there was just other stones. So here in front of us, we see like the very extent of the tower, well, here we go, very extent of the tower that was, or the, the ring wall that went like around the, uh, the castle. And we see a lot of it built in. This is, you can tell this is older. So it wasn't until the 1200s whenever bricks became the thing. Like it's a very cool structure. Now every time someone tried to attack a castle, like obviously there was have to be a loser, but then it always showed a defense in the castle and the castle knew where to strengthen. And that's one of the reasons why Denmark has some of the coolest architecture that still survives today and is in other parts because it served the test of time. Okay, so this is something really, really cool. So the original castle built by the bishop, it lasted for like, I don't know, 150 years. In the mid 1300s, what happened is that that castle was defeated, like the reigning power was defeated, and they hired a bunch of stone cutters to destroy the castle. Now you couldn't just burn it because stone doesn't burn. So here we see some rubble, and like this part here is just like dissolved into the moat. It's just like old, old stone stuff in the moat. Isn't that cool? 
Like how cool that must have been to just like see the destruction of, I don't know, a castle and then the rebuilding of a new one. Now the new castle that was built used a lot of the old stone and it was rebuilt a couple of times. There's four different castles here. Um, and what they did was just recycle the limestone. So instead of using it on one side, they used it on another side. And they just kind of built up and structured over time. Today, this is like a little replica model of what the castle is. Okay, that was pretty cool. But now I think it's time to see something a little bit more modern. Like, what's in that part? Uh, it's all here though. Although I'm gonna miss how quiet and peaceful that place was. Let's go see what's inside here. This is pretty. I am the most popular person in the world. Well, that's not humble at all. So the castle trip started off in the throne room, which I thought was really cool since that's usually the very last room that you see in a castle, and that's the royal family. This is the king and queen's throne. And then out of here, there were these beautiful carpets. And this is one of the reasons why we had to wear little blue shoes, because we were stepping all over these carpets with the royal crest of Denmark on it. And then we're just gonna speed up through a couple of the other rooms that are very ornately decorated and get into my favorite room. Now this is the queen's tapestry room. And in here, this is so pretty look at it now I've seen a lot of tapestries I've never seen stuff like this before look at all the stories on here so this is the dining room and it's not really in use anymore, but when it was, it holds 50 people around the table. It's like the size of a normal size restaurant. So cool. So I found the stuck exchange and it looks like it lost the exchange, but you can still see some of the sparkly letters. We'll zoom in. So here we have a very beautiful sign. And there's a lot of workers here that are working to, uh, Make sure that it falls safely. Smell test. Still smells like bonfire night, which I guess makes sense. We're gonna continue to walk around and see more what we see. Just in case we need water, fire hoses are still out. So it definitely smells like smoke. Like on the inside, you can still see some stuff that's hot and burning. It's must have been crazy when it was happening. But the inside is, uh, let's see if you can see. I don't know if you can see that. I can see that. So inside there, it's just like the entire roof structure's fallen in, and it's just this outside that's um, just the outside. Okay. After the burnt down sock exchange was over, I saw this really cool pointy. So now we're en route, I hope, to see this really cool pointy. The pointy is making a sound. Check it out. The pointy. I think I see people up there or else they're human-like structures that go up and down the pointy when the pointy is stinking. So we're gonna go and see if it's possible to go up. Because last time I was here, I was here way too early before it opened. Yeah. Bicycle. Um, and I did not go up, so we're gonna go see. 
So that was fully booked. And there was a wedding, so we couldn't go in the church or up the steeple. But we could see all of the people. So that won't happen. So we're just going to go wander down where all these cars are. And there's like a nice little greenery thing. And my foot hurts. So I think I'm going to go try to find a chair. And sit and listen to my book a little bit. I'm listening to a new book. Um, if I find the right scenery around us, I'll tell you what it is. Or maybe the next video. It's a 30-hour audiobook. This is nice. I like this. There's no people here. And I have the option of two paths. I can go on high path or low path. Let's go see what high path looks like. There's a little tourist group behind me. That took long enough. I finally found art in a city that's so pristine. We finally see true art. Now let's go look at these people who are looking at people. This is weird, but you know. Market. Art market. Christiania was a beautiful city and I totally get why people live here. There was art literally everywhere you look and it was like all sorts of art. There's music, there's paintings, there's mosaics, there's all sorts of graffiti and street art, and dancing and dude I was just so much in heaven and enjoying it and enjoying all of the artists who stopped to say hi and just like welcome you to their little town. Now this is fresh and beautiful. So this is a new style that I haven't seen very often. Um, you have these really, really crisp lines here. And you have a lot of the reds and pinks and teals. Graffiti connoisseur. So if you're probably seen on the news or on the media or somewhere or on the, the internets, um, they've decided to kind of like shut down Christiana because of violence, allegedly, and other sorts of stuff. Who knows why? But over the course of the next couple of years, they're going to work on transforming this area into something else. Which I don't know how I feel about that. Because I think people who just want to live and chill and do art like this. Maybe you should let them live and chill and do it like this because this is so, so cool. And it's peaceful. And there's birds everywhere. Birdie. There's beautiful art. Sparkle art. So, one thing that I like about this place is that we have these really old buildings and these structures like this. I mean, this is like permanent Burning Man. It's so cool. I really like this building here. Now most of these are privately owned. So there's reasons why I'm not going into all beer to Brittles. I've already been shooed away from a publicly owned one today that was out of the so. We won't invade people's houses accidentally. Okay, so I have just been going through this amazing walk through like all of Christiana and around town. And I'm a little bit outside of the city. And you can see behind me there's all this water and people are out there getting the suntan and that sort of stuff. 
But then I'm walking by, you know, other things like the houses on the outside. And this is like a very beautiful little house. What I want to show you is this. Look at this cute little structure. Isn't that cute? I love it. How do I get one of these? How do I live in Christiana? Because, okay, maybe the Christiana that I saw. I don't know how it was before, but what I saw is absolutely a place that I'd want to live in. Um, so like a lot of the houses have their wood. So whenever you need heat, you just pop a log in the fire and you have some wood. They're all in really old buildings too. And so it's all these historic buildings, you know, from the 1800s. And there's just these awesome structures and this is on the outside. So a lot of these materials, they're organized by like what they are. If you need something, you just come here and pick it up. So we're hunting for two things. One, some water, because it's really hot. As you can probably tell, I've lost like five layers of clothes today. Um, and then, I think I need some food and I could deal with some more art. So I think that we should go find at least one of those. And I prefer that I hope it's the water. Oh, hey, let's go look at this. We just saw free art. Now let's go see what more art looks like. Damn it, I was kind of hoping for water. Oh well. Maybe there will be water in the art museum. I don't know. We'll find out. This area is really cool. Like there's all these massive warehouses. There's all these like, I don't know what they are. Thingies. Let's go look at this one because it has some papers on it. Their plans on how to take over the world. This one has paper on it too. So it looks like, I don't even know, building plans or something? Ah, okay, something inspiration from Hong Kong. There's all these mosquitoes around here, which makes no sense because, I mean, we're kind of by water, but just like they're in the metal. So let's go inside. We've made it inside. Let's go explore. Okay, now check this one out. There's a light. There's a thingy. And we have this background with this beautiful scenery. I think we should take a photo. And then we come over here. We see our photo. Would I like to receive the email? No, I'm good, thanks though. No, we're gonna email it to me. I like this place so far. So there's huge, huge art pieces in here. So all of these are telling stories of how nature tells a story of life. I mean, just look at how big this is. It's kind of hard to tell, I guess. But you're just gonna have to take my word for it. It's huge. museum that makes art. Now this is pretty cool. So all of these little dots here have been left by people in the past and then they're hung up here. And so the idea is like what kind of art can be created from a community. So I think we should create some art. So we have a little plungers. A little plunger, a little sticky. Circle, circle, dots. We gave the art a cootie shot. While 
I feel much more energetic after my breakfast. It's also like 6 p.m. So there's beautiful light. Like check out the shadows, this doorway, this arch. Why aren't the people here? This is why you should travel with me. Okay, so I think for today, this is where we're gonna end today's adventure. I found some stairs. I found some very awesome views, so I can watch all of these people over here and here, and I'm tired. So I'm gonna rest my foot and watch people. And I got blackberries, I have to show you. Why is it so exciting? Because in the UK, we don't have blackberries because they don't import them anymore. I have blackberries, so I'm gonna eat my food. And I have sparkle water, lemon water. It's not the good one, but the good one's only in Sweden. So we'll have the second best one. And listen to the church bells and watch the people walk. So yeah, tomorrow we're gonna go explore. It's always an adventure. I don't plan this stuff. Good morning. We're starting our second very sunny day in Copenhagen, walking across a very old bridge. First, we'll observe a very green man. Here's the very green man. He has a load of other tiny men around him, which is pretty cute. So let's go across the bridge and see what's on the other side. Well, this is pretty. I want a bridge that has this on it. So this bridge was finished, built maybe or finished in the late 1800s. Lion. Oh. Okay, well, what's your name? Do you have a name? Wingy, why do you like my shadow? Yeah, it's not food, man. Now you're in the vlog. Now you're famous. Good job. Thank you. Bye. So I believe that was a baby squirrel. But he was a little bit too friendly. I don't want his babies. This wave so is cool. That's blue. Oh, now he's following me. Hi. Hi. Okay, maybe no. <laughs> You want to go for a walk? And then we have this lady here. One of the cool things I like about this is that there's a bunch of runners in here. And I think that just like as a society, it's important to remember the people that came before us and just to remind us of like the, the more coil that life is. So I'm going to go finish my awesome walk in here and listen to the birds and listen to my book and i will see you when we get to our next destination Why can't we have fun stuff like this in London? This is so cool. And look at all these activity tables. You just need to bring your pieces and you can play activity. Okay, this is cool for like two reasons. One is that it's really practical. And two, there's all sorts of like amateur art so check it out first we have basketball football court but it's in a way where if you lose the ball the ball doesn't like run away into someone else's yard but check out this art let's go hmm. i've got myself stuck I quite like this. 
I think that more places in the world need stuff like this. It's really, really cool. Okay, downtown Copenhagen, cool, touristy. But check this out. Flower tree and graffiti. I think we should go check it out. How cool would it be to do sports and all of this art? Look at this. Are you guys? So I don't know if you can tell, but like this goes back. There's so many different layers of art. So these are live train tracks and we're not gonna cross them. But like it goes all the way back over there. Isn't it cool? <laughs> okay, let's go see what other things we can find. Because I was not expecting this today. This is beautiful. And I like it a little bit better than Christiania because there's not as many people. Check this one out. Well, that's cool. So I'm just walking around in the neighborhoods here, like exploring more of the architecture and the art. And there are these random little graffitis that are starting to appear, which I think is pretty cool. And I've seen some like in my walk around. So I'm just like trying to find super cool buildings. Um, and if I can't find super cool buildings, then we're just gonna go on a graffiti hunt because I seem to be very successful in that today. Good job, me. Okay, so one thing I like in this park, there's all of these random structures. If you know what these random structures are, leave a comment, because I'd like to know. So like there's this massively tall clock, and then there's this mound with what looks to be the latitude and longitude of where we're at. So we're, 55, 41, 47, and 12, 32, 59. And now I'm on the top of the world. <laughs> okay, so I've released myself of my jacket and we've entered Tivoli. Now this is a super old amusement park and we're going to do all of the super old things a amusement park should do, like explore it. But when I put my jacket back in its resting place, I had another little rest because my feet fell every single step they walked. <laughs> this is super cool, you guys. Let's go check out this white thing. This would be super pretty at night. But also, I should say, at night, it gets really busy here. Like that's when most of the stuff is open and the people are here. In the daytime, more of the kids. Like there's this gathering of kids over here and it's like they're gathering for Santa Claus. Look how pretty this is. Okay, we're going down Popcorn Street. And what you can't smell is what I smell, so. Haha. -ha. Ooh, look at your iris. What do you look like? I don't know. Check yourself out. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we have a boat right here. And then over here, so it's like everybody is in the voice chair and it's just spinning around this clock. 
dude was an astronomer and that's why all of this part of the park has astronomy theme. Clock theme? I haven't figured that out yet, but maybe clock and astronomy goes together. So that dude was one of the first astronomers in the 16th century who uh, discovered a supernova outside Cassiopeia. Uh, constellation and that was around the same time when a bunch of stuff here was happening Even there. Now this tall tower I believe it'll take out people and swirl them around so we'll just wait for some brave souls so they can be in the vlog too this is pretty So in here, there's all sorts of different rides. And you can choose to go on them, like pay for ride, or you can buy a ride pack and pay for them all. Or you can just walk around and look at all of the rides and all of the really pretty buildings. Okay, so over here, we have this crazy ride, right? Up and down, swingy sort of thingy. But then just right around the corner, look what we have. Camel! Hi, Camel. This park is kind of Nordic and I like it. So after walking down the street with an army dude, the very big army gun, which I'm so confused why he needed such a big army gun whenever there's like this, but maybe there's something special. We've reached a round tower. The round tower. Now the idea was to go up in the round tower, but there is a massive queue. I kind of don't want to wait in line or pay for it. So I'm going to appreciate the sparkle. Sparkle crown. We made it into the round tower. Check it out. So lore has it that the dude that built this tower was so lazy he wanted to ride his horse. Horses don't go upstairs. And that's why it's all ramped up. Is it lore? Is it a legend? No one knows. We've reached the top. Basically on top of the world because all the buildings in Copenhagen are really short. Check that out. So all around we can see the city. And then right there is the observatory. Can we go inside? Can we be in here? There's a thing there. This is cool, whatever it is. Guys, I'm not sure if we're supposed to be in here or not, but the door was open. And there's all this cool stuff where the bells for the church used to be. And it's just like old and smells like old wood right now. This is so cool. So one thing I have to show you before I go is something that's in a bunch of European cities and it's cafes on top of department stores. Now take a look outside. 
You can see so many things down there. Okay, so it's been a massively long weekend here in Copenhagen. I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna hang out here, stare at the city by me, have a nice beer, let my feet rest, and start editing this video so I can get it to you soon. Thanks for coming along. Hope you like Copenhagen. Drop a comment if you visit it or if you know of any of the things that I may have missed.